So you lift the chest, keep the back of the heart wide. So you can actually pull the fronts of the arms down that way to help that out. And then bend the knees and place the feet flat. So we're going to send the knees forwards and lift the hips. So as you lift, keep the shoulders moving down the back. Lift the hips, shoulders down the back, collarbones come up and are wide. Length from the belly. Keep the, rib, uh, keep the chin on the chest to begin with, just to stop any uh, impromptu or um, unnecessary decapitations. Which is never nice. Instead, the, and also compromises the shoulder position. That's like, oh. So shoulders down the back, the heart is open. Breathe, 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 and exhale down. Oh. Okay, cross your ankles, point the toes, reach forwards, so your shoulders come forward, step back, and again, knees, chest, chin, keep the shoulders back away from ears. Pull forwards and through into upward dog or cobra, and then slide the hips back into downward dog or puppy pose. Soften the knees, slide the sit bones back, lengthen out through your arms. Okay. Inhale, shoulders forwards, exhale, cross, sit, and extend the legs. Okay, so we're going to skip forwards a little. So we're going to start with the right foot in Janu Shirshasana, the knee at 90 degrees. And we're going to demonstrate here the wrap and reach. So the ribs on this side are going to roll towards the left knee with an action. So... The right arm, which if you remember is an extension of this area down here, wraps and reaches. So reach with the right arm as you wrap, oh, leaving the right knee back. So reach as far as you can with the wrap and reach. And take your hand to the outside of your left foot. Okay, maybe it's the knee, but so the wrapping and reaching in there. And then the left hand is on the floor by the left hip. And then I'm going to look back under my left armpit. I'm looking back behind me. And breathe. So it's less about the forward bend. It's even less about the hip opening. It's about the movement through the middle back and the position of the shoulders. So breathe into the area that is probably most sensitive, which is the kidney region of the right side right now. Maybe your hamstrings, yeah. Maybe your right hip. Yeah, we know all about that, but maybe reframe the pose. Different objectives today. Keep wrapping and reach the right, reaching the right shoulder. And then inhale, lift up, open the chest. Exhale, release. Extend your leg out. And if you did want to jump back there, I wouldn't stop you. Um, the left side will be done when you jump through. Left leg. Heel in. So I'm on the opposite side, so you get to see the opposite side now. So my knee's back, and then I'm going to take my left arm and wrap and reach. So it's going to be wrap and reach. Take hold of the outside of my right foot, knee, ankle, shin, or whatever I get. So again, the shoulder is wrapping around here. Right hand on the floor, and then look back under my armpit as I reach. Breathe. Inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale, leave the leg, and cross, and pull the feet under you, roll forwards, take the hands down, shoot the feet back, and then lower down, so vinyasa, elbows in, descent, keep your shoulders in that position, inhale, upward dog or cobra, exhale, slide the hips back and up, downward dog, okay, step forwards, cross your ankles, sit down, extend your legs in front of you, so we're going to take, um, again, the first pose of the next sequence, which is the Marichyasana sequence, and do the same thing. So I'm going to fold the right leg, heel in towards the sit bone. 
So I'm closing my knee here as much as I can. And then I'm going to take my right arm. And again, I'm going to reach with side length with my right arm. So I'm going to reach with my right arm as far past my, well, far past my shin as I can. My left hand remains on the floor in the same position as it was in Janus Shirshasana A. Now squeeze my right thigh onto my right side there and move as much weight into my right foot as I can. So I reach with my right arm, wrapped and reached, breathing into the sides of the body and probably contending with short hamstrings, which you know, we're still dealing with because we're level one class here, even if you've been doing this for a while. But wrapping and reaching and negotiating with the breath and make it less about stretching, i.e. how far you can get into the pose, and more about the quality of your technique. 